fibroids. Now this is one very common problem that women of childbearing age are facing these days is growth of one or multiple fibroids in their uterus which are usually non-cancerous, they are benign but um, they actually affect us in a lot of ways. So when we have fibroids in our system, it affects the way uh, we produce a child, it affects our fertility level, it can lead to miscarriages, it can also lead to a lot of complications during pregnancy. Now most fibroids are asymptomatic, but depending on their size, number and location in the uterus, these fibroids can show up uh, different symptoms in the body such as pelvic pain, heavy menstrual bleeding, constipation, frequent urination or even pain during sexual intercourse. Now because of fibroids, women can face a lot of problems when they're trying to conceive, even if they're not trying to conceive, even their normal periods could be painful and could be a task. Now the common reason why women develop fibroids is basically because of inflammation, insulin resistance. These two factors are really the promoters of fibroids. They increase the growth and they increase the development of fibroids in our uterus because they uh, affect our hormonal balance, they affect the way our estrogen and progesterone balance each other out. Now the major reason why fibroids happen is because of hormonal imbalance and poor liver detoxification and estrogen dominance. Basically you have higher level of estrogen than progesterone or your body is not eliminating the estrogen metabolites very well from the system which then circulate in the system and cause the growth of fibroids. And this could happen because of a lot of reasons, especially inflammation and insulin resistance. These two underlying factors can lead to fibroids because they promote and, and support the development and growth of fibroids. Now, inflammation happens because of the way we eat, the foods we choose, sugar, alcohol, coffee, uh, fried, processed foods, all this increases inflammation. It can also happen because of excess stress that we take and lack of sleep and good physical activity. Again, insulin resistance happens when we're consuming a lot of fried fatty foods and we are not uh, utilizing our body well in terms of movement and that leads to insulin resistance which affects the way our body processes sugar and that eventually leads to estrogen dominance and affects our hormonal balance. Another important factor in causing hormonal imbalance is the products that we use on our body. Now, especially the beauty products, all the skincare products that we use are loaded with chemicals which contain endocrine disrupting factors and these increase estrogen. They basically mimic estrogen in our system and then obviously support the growth and development of fibroids. Also PCBs, P BPAs in our plastic, pesticides, all these are persistent organic pollutants, POPs, which linger around in the environment and then enter our body and linger around in our organs, which our liver cannot detoxify very well. And they, they also mimic estrogen in our system, which then can lead to fibroid growth and development. So there are a lot of ways in which you can prevent the growth and development of fibroids, help them to shrink it down and also prevent their recurrence. The first things first is take care of your food. Make sure that you opt for anti-inflammatory foods like fruits, vegetables, your nuts, seeds, especially omega-3 rich nuts and seeds like flax seeds, walnuts and sprouts, all foods that are wholesome and natural because these foods have the nutrients and the antioxidants to combat the growth of fibroid. Also, these plant foods are rich in fiber and fiber is a very important component when it comes to reducing excess estrogen and uh, improving the metabolism of estrogen in the body and also detoxifying the liver. So including fiber rich foods can help you throw out the excess estrogen and reduce the fibroid growth. Cruciferous vegetables like your broccoli, kale, cabbage, cauliflower, all of these contain a compound called indole-3-carbinol, which is IC3. And this has a very important role to play in liver and estrogen detoxification in our body. Now, there are certain foods which you need to reduce, eliminate or avoid if you want to shrink your fibroids. The first things first is alcohol because it has a direct relation with your estrogen excess uh, and increase in the body and of course then there's caffeine, there's sugar, there's processed, packaged, refined, fried foods, all of this 